Hey everyone, welcome to Tech Wired. In this video, we are going to solve problem number 2300 successful pairs of spells and potions. First, we will see the explanation of the problem statement, then the logic and the code. Now, let's dive into the solution. So, here I have taken the second example from the Liquid website. So, in this problem, we are given three inputs one is spells, one is potions, and another one is success, right? So in this problem, we need to find how many successful pairs can be formed using these spells and portions, right? So a successful pair is defined as, so I need to take each and every spell and I will be multiplying to each and every portions in the list. So if I multiply 3 with all the values in the portions, I will be getting, so here I will get 24, 15 and 24 again. So after multiplying them, I need to check how many values are greater than the success variable. So in this case, there are two values that is greater than success, right? That is 16 here. So I will create another list where I will store my result. So I will first append 2 to my list so this two is for the ith spell that is for three for three i have got two successful pairs from portions right similarly if i do for one i'm going to get eight five eight again right so in that case i will append zero to my result variable since all the values after multiplying one is going to be lesser than the success variable that is 16 so it will be 0 but the time complexity will be n into m right so we are going to reduce the time complexity to n log m so we will see how we are going to do this so initially we will be sorting the portions input list so here it becomes 5 8 and 8 right so here I have a formula. We will see this particular formula while we picking each and every element from the spells input, right? So initially, first I will pick the first element from the spells input. That is 3 in this case. This will be my i, right? So I will substitute this value in the formula. So success is 16 and i th value is 3. Then I will subtract 1 and I will divide by the ith spell that is 3, right? If I do that, I will be getting 6 here. Now I need to check where to insert the 6 in the portions list. At which index? It should be at index 1, right? It should be here. It should be at index 1. So I will take the value 1. This 1 represents the minimum strength of a portion required for a successful for that spell strength. Right? And if I take the length of the portion that is 3 and if I subtract this 1 from 3, I will get 2. Right? This 2 represents the total number of successful pairs can be formed using the given portions for 3 right so 2 will be the first result value now i pick the next one that is 1 so 16 i will add 1 then i will subtract 1 so i'm going to get 16 so i will divide it by 1 again so it will be 16 again now i need to check where to insert 16 in the portions input list so this is 0th index, 1 and 2. So I need to insert at the third index only, right? After all the elements here. Since it is the higher value. So I will return 3. Then I will take the length of the portions, that is 3. And I will subtract 3 with that. So I will be getting 0. So for 1, I cannot form any successful pair. So it will be 0, right? Then I will pick the next value that is 2. 
so success is 16 and I will add 2 and I will subtract 1 so I will be getting 17 here and if I divide this by 2 I will be getting 8 in this case so now I need to check where I can insert 8 I can insert 8 here right after 5 at the first index so I will return 1 then I will take the length of the portions that is 3 and I will subtract 1 I will get 2 so I will add 2 here so finally I will return 202 as the answer this will be my result array right so the time complexity will be n log m and space will be order of n since we are storing result for each and every spell right now we will see the code so before we code if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel please like and subscribe this will motivate me to upload more videos in future and also check out my previous videos and keep supporting guys so initially i will sort my portions input array right then i will be having the result set right now i will write a loop where i will pick each and every spells from the input array so to get the number of successful pairs first i will take the length of the portions now i will subtract the minimum strength required for a successful pair index which means where i will insert in the portions input the minimum strength required for a successful pair for the ith spell right so here in python i will be using bisect left function to get the where i will insert the minimum strength required to form a successful pair for the i spell right this will return the index right so i will add the current spell with the success variable and i will subtract one and finally i will divide with the current spell then i will append the count to the result list right then finally i will return the result that's all the code is now we will run the code as you guys see it's pretty much efficient as i said previously the time complexity will be n log m and space will be order of n thank you guys for watching this video please like share and subscribe this will motivate me to upload more videos in future and also check out my previous videos keep supporting happy learning cheers guys